Sunday, March 11th, marks the one-year anniversary of the devastating earthquake and tsunami in northeastern Japan. Public opinion remains varied as the nation looks back upon the unexpected events of the past year. In this area, tsunami waves lifted a large bus onto the rooftop of a building. The vehicle was finally removed just one day before the March 11th anniversary. Snow and strong winds reminded locals of the weather on the day that tsunami hit. Some people wanted to leave the bus on the rooftop as a reminder of how powerful the natural disaster was. However, city officials decided to remove it, as many people want to forget the painful memories of the tsunami. The license plate of the bus was removed as a memento before the vehicle was sent to the scrapyard. <laughs> <laughs> Residents of Kesanuma City, Miyagi Prefecture, planted cherry trees in areas devastated by the tsunami to create a memorial for younger generations. <laughs> Many people have returned to their hometowns to mourn the disaster victims. A mother held a funeral for her son just before the first anniversary. Junya Watanabe was a volunteer firefighter at Namie Town in Fukushima Prefecture. While helping residents evacuate, he was swept away by that tsunami. His mother Shoko regrets that she was not able to search for him. The public are prohibited from entering the town, which is located within the 20 kilometer exclusion zone around the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Two days before the anniversary, the town allowed her to visit the site where her son was last seen alive. The exact location, as indicated by his fellow firefighters, was just behind their home. Shoko finally accepted his death and held a funeral for him. The event of a major earthquake in Tokyo, only emergency vehicles would be allowed on major roads in the capital and the surrounding areas. The National Police Agency says it would designate 46 tollways and six highways in Tokyo and 10 surrounding prefectures for emergency use only. The roads span nearly 1,800 kilometers. The measure would give police and rescue vehicles quick access to the capital in times of crisis. The police agency says the decision to close specific roads to regular traffic will depend on the extent of damage. It plans to drop similar plans for other parts of the country. New research suggests a possible future earthquake century on Tokyo could be as devastating as the one that hit northeastern Japan last March. Japanese seismologists say an expected powerful tremor in northern Tokyo Bay would have an epicenter shallower than earlier as estimated. They say such a quake would register the maximum 7 on the Japanese seismic scale. The scientists released their report after a five-year study commissioned by the government. They analyzed the underground geology of the Kanto area based on data from about 300 seismographs. Results show that the epicenter at the point where the Philippine Sea Plate descends beneath the Japanese Continental Plate is about 
10 kilometers shallower than expected. Typically, the shallower the epicenter, the greater the jolts on the surface. The government had previously estimated the maximum intensity of a quake at 6 plus, a full rank lower than the new study predicts. The group plans to further analyze its work and publish a final report by the end of March. Seismologists often look to the past to try to give projections about the future. Many of them have been studying the March 11th earthquake. A researcher in Kyoto now says it triggered about 80 separate tremors. One of them was as far as 1,300 kilometers from the original epicenter. Masatoshi Miyazawa is an associate professor at Kyoto University's Disaster Prevention Research Institute. He analyzed data recorded by hundreds of seismographs across Japan immediately following the earthquake. The results show about 80 separate jolts occurred within about 15 minutes of the original quake. The red here indicates the areas that were shaken, and we can also get an idea of the size of these tremors. Many of them were small with a magnitude of around 2. But seismographs also measured a quake with a magnitude of 4.7, which is considered relatively strong. The earthquake that was 1,300 kilometers from the epicenter of a March 11th tremor was observed in Kagoshima Prefecture in southwestern Japan. A giant earthquake off Sumatra Island in 2004 is also known to have triggered smaller quakes. But researchers say the ones that happened on March 11th were unprecedented in scale and number. The mayor of a town near the crippled Fukushima Daiichi is sick of waiting on Tokyo Electric Power Company and he's handled the utility a bill for compensation. Futaba Town's demand for over $200 million makes it the first municipality near the plant to make such a claim. Town Mayor Katsutaka Idogawa handed the invoice to a senior TEPCO official on Thursday at a makeshift town hall inside an evacuation center some 200 kilometers southwest of the township. Futaba is charging about $211 million in compensation for buildings and property. The township was forced to move after it was designated a no-entry zone. The TEPCO official told the mayor the company will consider the matter promptly along with compensation claims by individuals, but he offered no time frame for a reply. The amount we are asking now is only for a portion of the damage. We are suffering unlimited damage from the accident. Mayor Idogawa said the town will invoice TEPCO for its evacuation costs later.